can you get my money back? The question I was asked today is, can you get my money back? You see, uh, someone came to see me today and they had paid um, uh, payments on the house that, they, w that their father owned and the um, father owned died without an estate. There were four children and the house had a mortgage on it. And so this, this fellow, the guy that came to see me, this fellow was making the payments on the house to keep the bank from foreclosing. And he'd been paying them, you know, about six months. Uh, and now there was a little squabble going on between the siblings. And he was worried, look, if I paid these payments on this house and I'm not going to get it back, I've got good news for you. You can get your money back. Generally, real estate passes outside the estate to the heirs subject to claims of creditors. There would have to be something in the will that were called for the, um, uh, the real estate to be sold for it to come into the estate. Most wills don't provide for that. And in this scenario, the will did not provide for that. So if that's the case, uh, then it's going to pass to the heirs. That's the four siblings in this example. Um, it's going to pass to the four heirs and, and uh, it's going to be subject to claims of creditors. Well, each of those heirs are what's called tenants in common. They each have a responsibility to the other not to commit waste on the property. Each got a responsibility to, to maintain the property and keep it up. And uh, certainly paying the mortgage payments is a way of keeping it up so that it would be available for sale and distribution uh, to the other heirs. So uh, you can ask the court when there's a sale to allow you to be reimbursed for uh, the amount of payments that you made but I'll tell you what I told him. I said, you make a demand on them for them to pay the payments, okay? Make a demand on for them to the pay the payments so that, um, that maybe they'll come to the dance and they'll contribute. Maybe they think you think you're some big shot and, and you want to make the payments. I don't know anybody that wants to make payments on a mortgage, but maybe they think that. So make a demand on them. Make a request on them for them to make the payments. Or maybe all four of you go in together to make the payments. But if you get stuck with the payments, when you go to partition the house or sell it, you're going to be able to get your money back as part of the partition process. Shouldn't be any problem there. Now that's good news, right? Especially if you've been the one making the payments. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the video. I hope it was helpful to you. If it was, would you go ahead and subscribe to our channel? And if you don't care, bang the bell, will you? And share it out among your friends. Comment down below. Uh, if you've got a question, because I read those comments and maybe I'll answer your question on the next video. Talk soon.